briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1981, the Florida District Court of Appeal heard the case of Roy v. Euro Holland Vastgoed, BV, which centered on the concept of a way of necessity for landlocked properties. The idea states that when a landowner has no accessible right of way to their property, except through someone else's land, and there is no other practical alternative, they can claim a way of necessity as an implied grant or reservation for the beneficial use of their property. Maurice A. Roy and Lillian A. Roy sought access to their landlocked property, which could only be reached via their neighbor's land. The lower court denied their claim for an easement of necessity. The Roys then appealed the case, and the appellate court reversed the decision, siding with them and acknowledging that there should be an implied grant of a way of necessity. The main issue in the case was the lack of accessible right-of-way to the Roy's landlocked property. Apelli Euro Holland Vastgoed, BV owned the neighboring tracts of land, while other appellees, Vizcaya, S.A., Martin A. Tabor, and Joyce M. Hyatt Lane, were mortgages on Euro Holland's property. Ultimately, the court ruled in favor of the Roy's, granting them a right to a way of necessity for their landlocked property. The case was remanded for further proceedings to declare, locate, and define the easement based on evidence presented by the parties. The court instructed all parties to collaborate in determining the specific details of the easement. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.